we're going to read another book about food. This is called Vegetable Friends. Potatoes are important food that everyone should eat. Potatoes make you healthy, and potatoes are a treat. Corny on the Cob Hi, my name is Corny. I'm Corny on the Cob. I want to tell you about me. This will be a fun job. See these little yellow things? They look like little beads. They really are the corn you eat, and they are also little seeds. Now, if you take the little seeds and plant them in a row, then water and wait a little while, the seeds will start to grow. The seeds grow into little plants. The plants grow way up high. On the plants grow ears of corn. An ear of corn am I. From ears of corn come many things like cornflakes good for you. And I know this might surprise you. Farm animals love corn too. Now popcorn is a different corn. The seeds pop big and white. And mixed with salt and butter, it's every kid's delight. Corn is one of the neatest foods to find upon your plate. And most kids like to eat us because we taste so great. Moy Mushroom My name is Moy Mushroom. I'm from a mushroom town called Moy. It's a name that I've been explaining since I was a little boy. A mushroom is not like other plants. It has no leaves or roots. Some look like little cups or balls. Some look like parachutes. Other mushrooms look like shelves and grow upon a tree. You know that we're not all alike. We're quite, quite interesting, you see. Underneath the mushroom caps are gills like little doors. At the right time, they will open up and drop out little spores. The spores are little tiny seeds that fall into the ground. They soon grow into mushrooms, and many can be found. Most mushrooms are really good to eat, but some wild ones make you sick. If you don't know which ones are good, it's better not to pick. So we only eat good mushrooms we find inside the store. Try us with all kinds of food. You'll like us even more. Ripe Tomato Hi, I'm Ripe Tomato. I should grow on a tree. Though people think we're vegetables, I'm a fruit, you see. You know that all tomatoes start from little seeds. The farmer plants them in a box that he waters and he feeds. Something happens to the seeds, to little plants they grow. Then the farmer moves the plants, in the ground they go. He waters them and feeds them till the plants grow big and tall, and soon they start appearing, tomatoes green and small. Soon it's time to pick them because they're big and red. Let's drive them to the grocery store. That's what the farmer said. The farmer drives them to the man who owns the grocery store. That's where you buy tomatoes, other veggies, and lots more. You should always eat tomatoes because they're good for you. We look great in dinner salads, and you know we taste great too. Charles Broccoli my name is Charles Broccoli. My food is on my head. You can also eat my bright green stalks, or so the farmer says. There are many kinds of vegetables that kids should always eat. Some of them have funny shapes, but broccoli is hard to beat. There's cauliflower, cabbage, broccoli. Now broccoli likes cool weather. We do not like the heat. If we grow when it's cooler, there's lots more of us to eat. The stalk is on the bottom and the buds are up above. When you add a little butter, it provides a taste you'll love. The bumpy buds 
upon the top are good to eat, you know. But don't you let us get too old or flowers start to grow. You can steam or you can cream us or eat us other ways. Some favorites are in salads and with dips like mayonnaise. There are lots of ways to eat us from a bowl or from a plate. No matter how you eat us, broccoli always tastes so great. Crunchy celery. My friends call me crunchy. You'll love the sound you hear. When you take a little bite of me, there's no doubt you will cheer. They planted seeds into a box. That's how they started me. When I grew big, with leaves and stalks, I became a celery. The farmer knows that celery will soon grow big and tall. He feeds us lots of water so they can pick us in the fall. When you take a stalk of celery that is long and kind of round, then take a bite and chew it. It will make a crunchy sound. You can chop it up in pieces, then cook it in a stew with carrots and potatoes, and throw the leaves in, too. You can take a stalk of celery and fill it up with cheese, or even peanut butter, or most anything you please. Or chop it in a salad, because in salads it is great. Celery is a healthy food that should be on your plate. Now that you have visited us, we hope you'll collect us all. Don't forget to eat us up so you'll grow big and tall. There's our vegetable friends. How many of them do you like to eat?